Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Katie. And if you want or wanting to see how I got this look, then continue watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. This is my first YouTube tutorial. Um, I think I'm going to be doing a voiceover on some of on the footage because I'll be talking at the beginning and then I kind of just stop talking because I'm like focused on the tutorial and trying to get it done and my battery is about ready to die. So without further ado, continue watching. Alright, here we are. I used the Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream underneath my eyes and then I topped it off with the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer. Now I'm going to show here. There it is. And then I topped it off with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Primer. And I did all that before I started the camera up. And then I used the Pure 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie uh, Foundation slash Concealer. It has like a pump and then it has a sweet little wand on the inside. That's pretty sweet. I've never seen a foundation company do that. I just pump some on the back of my hand and then I just dot it all over my face like so. Um, pretty self-explanatory, obviously. And yeah, <laughs> not much else to say about that. the Morphe uh, little blending brush and blend in this foundation that I think might be a little bit too dark. I ordered this online and I thought that this was the right shade but it looks like it might not be. Man, I wish I could uh, do that with my foundation every single day. It would be that fast. And it looks like I used a damp beauty blender to blend it further out so I don't have any brush strokes. I really can't stand that. Use a na Stay Naked concealer. I only, I only dab a few dots under my eye. I do the bridge of my nose, my forehead, my chin, and the kind of the creases around my nose. And then I take a damp beauty sponge again and blend it out. Look at me go. Lavender Pro Filter Powder. And I pretty much put that under my eyes, my chin, like I pretty much put it everywhere. I just love how like fine it is. It just looks amazing. And it doesn't make me look too dry like some powders do.
Marc Jacobs Tantastic. Didn't bother to show you what it looks like, but I'm sure everybody knows what this looks like. It's like on everybody's beauty guru playlist, I'm pretty sure. And I used a blending brush, contouring brush. And then later on I changed it up. I used the another brush that's a little bit bigger to kind of further blend it out. Hmm. I'm just going on about something. <laughs> Because initially, I was going to do a chit chat video, but then it became too long. So I was like, well, I better cut this down. Oh, there's the big brush. There's the big brush. And I'll have everything labeled the bottom of the description of what brushes I used and what products I used. Just look at me go ham on that bronzer. Mm hmm. Take a bl another br blending brush. I kind of just blend out the bronzer so it's not so harsh. the shade B right there and these are very pigmented like you just need a, a, a dab a little dab of it a little dab will go a long way highly recommend Juvia's Place um, products they are pretty amazing I'm just swinging that brush around. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now it might look like I'm putting a lot of blush on, but believe me, blush just fades on me throughout the day. I don't know where it goes. It doesn't even matter what kind of blush I use. It always fades on me. It does look pretty. And then I use that brush to kind of blend it out so it's not as harsh as it looks. And then I just use Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy Highlighter. Ugh, gorgeous. Love it. Look at my face. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, so pretty. It's like subtle, it's not like a blinding. Well, I don't think it's blinding. Other people might think it is. Alright, now I'm going to do my eyebrows using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow is in the shade taupe. Yeah, there it is. Man, look at that. I wish I could fill my eyebrows that quick. Honey palette. Oh, look at that. I wish my camera would focus. Take a blending brush. And I believe I used Swarm. Yes, Swarm. In the crease. Just 
palette is just beautiful. I was like expecting it to be kind of chalky and not very pigmented like their other palettes I've had in the past, but um, they really stepped it up this time with this palette. I was very, very impressed. And then I'm gonna take Keeper on the same brush. deepen up the crease because I like those like the smoky eyes and then I'm gonna take the brush that comes with the palette I use the fatter side the blending part and I used Hive and I further deepen up the crease kind of the outer portion of the crease and kind of ever so lightly blend it into the middle of the crease blending brush and I'm going to be using I believe the shade is keeper that I used and I'm gonna run that under my lower lash line and kind of smoke it out a little bit there I go And then I'm gonna take a little smudging. I don't know, it's not even like a brush, it's like a kind of like a sponge like smudger. And I take, I believe it is Hive, and I'm going to um, smudge that under my lower lash line again and make it kind of darker. And I'm gonna take a little blending brush, a little defining blending brush, and I'm going to use Drip. I believe that's what the shade color was. I'm gonna put that, the outer V of my eye, eyelid, deepen it up some more. Take another brush and kind of blend everything together. And then I'm going to take another little definer brush. And I am going to use the darkest shade in the palette. And trying to figure out what shade that is. Sting. And that's going to be going in the out, outer part, outer portion, and we're really darkening it up, but not too dark, because you want to be, you don't want to be too dramatic, but I guess some people might think this is pretty dramatic. I'm 
I'm going to take the other side of that uh, brush that comes with the palette and I'm going to spray some Morphe setting spray onto the brush. There we go. <laughs> and then I'm going to use the shade Honey. It's like a this gold shade is absolutely beautiful. And then I'll put that on the inner portion of my eye, kind of going halfway on my lid. Kind of making a cut crease, but without the concealer. I use it on my finger too. I'm gonna kind of pack it on because sometimes these shimmers, they like do a whole lot better when you have your warmth of your finger put on them. I'm gonna take a little tiny brush to highlight under my brow bone, or under my brow, I mean, and then my inner corner. detail eyeliner brush and I'm gonna take sting that dark shade and I'll run it under my bottom lash line to make it darker Then I'm gonna do some winged eyeliner with the Kat Von D, Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. And I don't even know what the shade is. I'll last in the blue. Yeah, I cut out the liner part because I was out of, uh, out of the scene and didn't realize it. I used some mascara, the L'Oreal Lash Paradise, and then I used um, Kat Von D OG Lolita Lip Liner to align to my lips. Kat Von D, I believe it's Lolita. It's either the original one or this Lolita 2. The liquid lipstick. It is such a pretty color. Alright, there is the finished look. Let me know what you think. Leave comments down below. Um, like the video and subscribe to my channel. And I'll be back probably next week. I have to work this weekend. Alright, thank you. Bye.